Hi everyone, McBeard here, back with another deck guide for you, back into Skellige a little bit more. I just really felt like I wanted to play that on the pro rank first, and we ran an interesting list with Muzzle, the Gedaneth combo, and the discard package of Berna, Morkvarg, two Heime Scalds, and two Skirmishers. And we did pretty well. I mean, it was just one day sample size, but we were on a tear. Um, pretty much from the very, very start. And I want to go through this list. I actually ended up having so many gameplays, this is going to end up being a long video. So I hope you like games. But I want to talk about the list a little bit here before we get into those games. I felt like Scenario Skellige was something that had real potential because they have a lot of tempo early on due to the Burna Brand Morkfarg discard package, being able to play Heimei Scald for seven points while thinning your deck as well, making sure that you have your tutors with Ermion and the Crow Mother as well, likely being a Royal Decree target. So so this felt like these were things, plus we have this Fall Blood Totem here as well as just kind of like a, just like a nice meaty play. But later on, I changed this card to the Defender, but I'll tell you, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, because the idea that all of this would be enough to, once we control the game, or even if we don't, beat them with the 33 point Gedaneth play with Leader and Ermion. So the play is, you play Gedaneth, you get your Crow Clan Preacher, you play your leader to bring back Ermion, who triggers the first Druid uh, chapter, and then Ermion resurrects the Crow Clan Druid to trigger the second scenario chapter. Then you play the Mardrome, and you've completed everything. So that is a lot of points to deal with, and you can either do this as a very aggressive play in round two, or feel very confident that you have the points required in round three to beat almost anything. And I felt like I did have that control. I thought that this, this package was really strong. A lot of control options with two Stunning Blow, Delirium, and Giga Scorpion, plus Ermion to source the latter of the two of those just for that extra consistency. We did have Gremis to combat, uh, to combat on the Poison front, which ended up being a big deal. So I'll go through the changes that we made because um, these gameplays do have a couple of changes in between the games. But Poison was a big problem. Uh, so we did have that as well. Crow Clan Druid needing to be in the graveyard means that we want to play two of them, make sure we play one so it can come back with Freya's, but otherwise is sometimes difficult to play. You want to play it with the Savage Bear as well. Sometimes Morkvar comes out on round one. You have a lot of opportunities to play it, but usually just keep one. And then of course, Golden Frost, Stunning Blow, Savage Bear, Scald and Skirmisher, just making for a strong 10 card four provision core that allows you to have the freedom to run much more expensive cards because all of these cards are very good. Now we played this list for most of the day and I felt really good about it, but Poison started to give me a little bit of trouble. So the solution I took was drops Fall Blood Totem, which was okay, um, and instead put in Covenant of Steel just to block Poison. The other upside of running Covenant of Steel is to have a great target for the Mardrome that you spawn on the second chapter of Gedaneth. So I think that the Covenant of Steel is a good pick. And then with that extra provision point, I actually felt like dropping the Golden Froth was good enough to consider running Bomb Heaver if you wanted to have a tech slot for that. And, you know, it comes and goes, right? It's poison all day, it's passive floor all day until it isn't. So you might not need the Bomb Heaver, but you could run it. But if you don't run the Bomb Heaver in the slot, I recommend running one Crow Clan, uh, Crow Clan Preacher. You might actually consider reconfiguring your bronzes to have the two golden froth as well. That way the Crow Clan Preacher always gets seven points on a froth and some extra points with Freya's Blessing, Delirium, and Giga Scorpion. But more importantly, it means that you're more likely to hit the Druid in the graveyard if you just happen to miss both your Crow Clan Druids. Because if both of these are in your deck and you have Ermion coming out with Freya's and you want to finish your scenario all in one go to dodge your opponent's Bomb Heaver, sometimes you just can't do that. So it is tricky. I would recommend this, maybe a different suite of uh, cards to uh, complement the alchemy. However, it's probably just adding another golden froth and dropping, Ooh, that's a tough choice. It's probably running two golden froth and maybe dropping a stunning blow, but I like my control. So two stunning blows right now. But this is probably just a fine way to run it. You, uh, you'll see both configurations at one point 
in this gameplay and currently I'm running this version with the Covenant of Steel because of so much poison but in a different world where I felt like the defender wasn't really necessary that frees up a lot more points to just go for more tempo plays like the Svoblood Totem or perhaps something else control wise uh, Geralt of Rivia, Hjalmar perhaps was something that supports him. There's a lot of stuff there's a lot of flexibility in this build because the uh, what you're afforded in Gedaneth and actually the tricks you can pull off running Vigo's Muscle and the Crystal Skull to unlock the card that you pull, or Gremis to unlock the card that you pull. It really throws people off guard. I am really high on this card right now, and I hope you enjoy the highlights. Uh, this is Pro Rank Skellige. If you liked it, show me and tell me below. Click all the things, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. They're the Savage Bears, the Raging Bear. The Savage Bear, the Raging Bear. They are raging. Look at this Raging Bear. We are here. Okay, uh, this is the deck. I talked myself into it. We're gonna play. Okay, so let's just take a look. So we got ranked, we got pro rank on Thursday. I did viewer duels all day on Friday and then I took the weekend off. So I actually do have five games left to play for Skellige, which allows me to push my peak, which is pretty cool. My... Today's beer, a delicious porter. Coffee and chocolate tones dance across the mouth taste fantastically. Good, right? This is good. Pretty good. Um, obviously, we can make it a little bit better than this. Not in that way. Yo, the Scald. Saving the day. Hidden cash. All right. Wanted some warm-up games. Here we go. Master Beer, what's up, Jaime, XG, Tor17, Devil King, Krabby Pratty, I see you. People who've been hanging out for a little bit here, Vanilla Bean Tree, Aliala, Aquata Joe, thanks so much. I'm really glad you, thanks so much for the support, I really appreciate it. I hope it comes through. I am playing a game, but I hope you guys really understand that if I could buy y'all a beer, well, I guess that would kind of undo it. But it would be like me buying a cheap beer, so that's kind of cool, right? Uh, Imka, huh? All right, should I just take it away from him? Is this, is this the thing that's going to throw him off the most? Seems crazy to use such a good card now. But it also seems crazy for me to let this live in any way. So I feel like if I use something like this, I mean, I could, I'm probably just going to end up stealing a Passivora Peach, Peaches otherwise. But this should give me control, right? This gives me a lot of control. I can also unlock her and then gain coins, which this is so baller. It's so baller. Mm. Hey, listen here. Listen Not great. I feel like it's just too early to use it. It might be great. See, it would have also stopped his... It would have also stopped... He paid for this, right? He would have never gotten his horde. It was probably really a good... I should have done it, maybe. I don't know. I think I could make an argument all day long that that was probably pretty good to go for the win here. My tempo is quite good here. I don't have to spend very many good cards, but if I lose the round, ultimately, does it even matter? I think it kind of matters. I don't want him to hit me with a poison too and get this as well. Have I tried control without drug? Control revenant without drug? Revenant without drug? I'm listening. That sounds awesome. I love revenant just as a card. And Saul. So is he going to try to... I mean, he's probably going to try to res that, right? I think he's going to res it? I've never seen Saul actually res, but I think people do this. So boost by three, boost by one. I can pass here, right? No, nah, maybe I'll use Morkvarg, actually. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the Purify just a little bit longer because it just denies any ability to play a poison on me. Just denies it. Another 
I could have chosen to do that a lot a long time ago. I think I considered a lot of choices that would have been correct in this game and didn't do them. I knew there was poison here. Nose, mouth, any hole. I could just pass now. But I could just take it with Morkvarg at this point, right? Boatless cash? It's true, it is boatless cash. Skellige steal all the cards day. Kikimor War he has he must have boat in hand. He must have boat in hand. It's the only thing that makes sense here, right? He must. He's telling me he has it. The idea here is that I have second wind to help me here, but I don't need it. We didn't get Ermion or anything, so I need second wind to be like pretty strong and a bleed. Possibly. Yeah. Shouldn't I just muzzle it then? He Philip is it back. He Philip is it back and ends up ahead, right? If he has her, yeah. Should Golden Froth be the official card of McBeard streams now? Absolutely not, because I don't always drink golden beers. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, Golden Froth. Tavern Brawl. Tavern Brawl for fight nights. Golden Froth for every other thirsty day. What is Saul doing? Is he selling knives or something? It's actually funny. I thought that this was his waist and he had knives around his belt, but he's actually got knives at a table. The perspective is kind of weird in this card. So Delirium is the card I want to pull with Ermion first or, or a Froth. I don't need the second Crow Clan Druid, believe it or not, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there's some really great draws for Burna here, but Burna's going a little blind. So I so here's where Muzzle is awesome for me. If he goes for the bleed, I can really turn it around. So this is kind of good, right? So I think he like he leads off with okay, well this is a little bit harder to deal with. But I do have the delirium, so I could potentially I could potentially deal with it. He got lucky. He got lucky with that. Um... One, two. Yeah, and I just beat him with Gedaneth. I just don't think he ever gets ahead of me here, right? I'm not going to let him. I don't know. I think I've misplayed this entire game, and yet, I actually feel like I'm in a pretty strong position. Now he has to beat Gedaneth. So I have, I can't play a Druid from Graveyard though, so we do have Gremist, and we could draw into the other pro plan Druid, I suppose. But by, oh, well now we have it for sure. And, okay, and we have Totem, which is pretty good. How do we have no burn a cards? This is wild. Okay, one burn a card is at least good enough because I'll just discard this. I think if I, you know, I'll probably play burner early. Yeah. Okay, this muzzle is going to be pretty good. Poison block is going to be pretty good. Druid is the only thing we need to pull with decree. Stunning blow. Does it matter? I just play burner here, don't I?
Burna can wait? We just play Small Blood Totem, I think. Passy. I mean, Philip. I mean, Burn is only going to draw stuff that we want to discard, except for the Crow Clan Druid. So we can play the Stunning Blow now, and I think it's pro probably fine. So he could have Ewald Borsodi as well. So I don't necessarily want to trigger these fanatics yet. You going to play a Passive Floor of Peaches or something, or get one, and I'm going to steal it, Adriano the Mink. <laughs> we share the profits, not the work. This Royal Decree is going to be so lame, right? Is even right? No, because I can't get the fucking Freya. But otherwise, I had to play a four point Scald. There is probably a way to do that safely. I think if I had just played the Scald with Royal Decree or something, I could have done it. Because the Scald is just a four-point play, then. It's just a four-point play, then. Whereas Morg Park is a five-point play. The end state is still the same. The Skirmisher, Morkvarg, and Burner are on the board, and I have a Scald to play for four. Okay, so a lot happened at the end there. So, okay, now that I'm out of the game, now that I'm out of the game, because, like, when you guys ask me those, when you when I got my brain scrambled and a bad decision there at the end, and I'm like, okay, the Scald, damn it. And then you guys are asking me, isn't it better? Isn't it better? And I'm, like, thinking, like, is it better? Is it better? Is it better? And I still got, like, four potentially very crucial turns to make. Ditching Scald cost me four points? Is it, though? It is, isn't it? I'm starting to feel pretty bad that I think it is. Because I'm thinking about it. The, I'm thinking about the end result. If I discard... If I discard... Uh, the discard card with Burna. Morkvarg's on the board. Skirmisher's on the board. Burna's on the board. But now I have to play a Scald for nothing but four. In the alternate universe... Burna's on the board. Skirmisher's on the board. Morkvarg is played from hand. Whereas Scald would have been played from hand. They both have a dead play, right? The four point Scald is free. Burner would have put Mork on the board and I would have still had Scald. But in this situation, 
Oh, you're, you're probably right. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with this. I don't know why I'm having a hard time with this. The opponent's in chat? I'm still talking about it. Registral, sorry, I didn't mean to GG, not GG you. I'm crazy, right? I just can't figure this one out. I'm like actually having like NA math forever. This is either gonna be super embarrassing or I mean, I'm probably, at this point, I think that I'm probably embarrassed because no one's on my side for this one. Any last words? Yeah, yeah, Soul Sailor, the PS4. We know Last of Us and uh, Ghost of Tsushima is going to be June 11th and July 16th, respectively, I think. It's pretty cool. <gasps> Burn in my opening hand. Unbelievable. Mirror match. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty good hand. Mirror match, red coin. Okay, okay. Mirror match, red coin. See what I mean about playing Geralt? Like, you could just play Geralt in a deck like this. And in pro rank, they don't know who you are. But this is why I run it, because some people are just like, blue coin, just a little bit too, like, there's no way Skellige can deal with this. Last of Us coming out first. Yeah, that's it. That is interesting. I'm going to play this too, just so. Yeah, we just make it as much like a mirror as possible so our opponent gets complacent like is this a mirror i'm so handsome and then then when they're admiring how handsome they are we bop them in the nose hmm. I could do this all day. is this artist is this an artist deck Wham, wham. Bully McPee coming through. That's an interesting strat. <laughs> yeah. Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I'm hyped too. I hope it's good. I'm sure it is. Sucker Punch makes good games, right? Oh, man. Like, yes, please. Don't I just take this card? Yes, please. Oh, I can't. Right, Defender. Well, I just take Crow Mother then. They both come out of the graveyard, right? Two crow mothers coming out of the graveyard? It seems to be consensus. Yeah, it seems. It seems like yeah. Chrome muslin crow mom seems pretty good, right? Carryover. Oh my god! I'm actually gonna get eight points. <laughs> I actually get eight points every time I play an alchemy card. This is gonna be dope, man. These games get better and better, and every time I look at my hand, I think, well, this can't be a good hand. <laughs> and yet, this keeps happening. Gods. Not a moment's pace. Oh, man. Aren't I, am I not just, like, favored now for the rest of this game? What, do I, what have I not seen that I can think about decreeing? The Crow Clan Druid, actually. I need that in my graveyard, right? Oh, I'm just like, I'm just like walking up to this ship and I'm like, right here. Hit me right here. We'll be fine. Oh, Wild Boar of the Sea. Look at this. Everything he spends. Gadaneth just keeps me like so safe as well. So can I threaten to just actually take it here? Maybe I just pass here. I feel like I'm pretty safe with between Gedaneth and my double crow mom, my two moms. They used to make fun of me for having two crow mothers. Now we live in a more progressive society. But it was hard at first. They're like, here comes Mr. Four Wings. I don't even know if that joke was tasteful at all, but... You know, sometimes... I was watching Mike Rubiglia, uh, one, of his, one of his specials, and he, he put it so well. He says... There's no on deck. There's no on deck circle for my thoughts. It's just like, oh, this seems like a good idea. Batter up! I'm like that's exactly how it feels sometimes. This feels pretty okay. 
I just play Crowclan Dread. One for potions, one for soup. One for potions, one for soup. I'm just telling you, man, Gedaneth, Gedaneth High Schools. People don't know how rough it is. <laughs> when you get called a chicken at Gedaneth, it really means something because, of course, crows are much cooler than chickens. D not even a dead army on hand. We don't need this much. We don't need this much alchemy. This is a little bit too much, I think. Maybe probably discard these two, but I want to get rid of this. So, probably not then. Oh, no, now I want to keep this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I do I do like Ermion having access to Giga Scorpion. So, I think this is actually our hand here. This is our hand. Because now we don't automatically brick. Like, if we draw the froth, we don't brick him. We gotta beat. We have, we're beat, we have to beat great swords. We have to beat great swords. So we can kind of we can kind of play around wild boar because we have the, the froth. I think we want to play units now because we're probably gonna play this froth here. Don't you pester me. Ah, that's pretty good. Raven crow chicken. Jack toss. A long SK Getty. Uh, I mean, that's not really what I wanted, but he pushed all the way down to four cards, and he had a really strong he had a really strong last play there. So I pass, and then he passed. So I don't think he's running Getty, and I'm forced in the long round. So that's what's going on here. Anyway, this is a much easier decision for me now. So far, so good. Make it unfavorable for him to actually damage the row. I might never trigger this, actually. I'll start playing on the other row. Purify? Uh, yeah, that was probably the best time to use it. Oh, shit. I let this happen. I let this happen. Not you again. I played in the middle of, like, I played in a stupid spot, too. It's okay, I can play Gedaneth up there. Oh, well, well. Yeah, I guess it just doesn't matter. I feel like I should have played Ermion a long time ago. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Plunge all into Merc with a spirit. Oh, say it ain't so. No, I'm okay. Wait, am I okay? I am okay to play Gedaneth now. Unleash the mamas. I know, right? Double crow moms. I'm in big trouble. This is going to be really hard for me, right? More Crow Mother hits. Oh shit, right. That part. He already played a Freya. He already played two Freyas? One Freya. One Freya? I mean, it was my only Morkvark target, I suppose.
As this game winds down, I know Wild Boar is going to hurt a lot. I know this is going to hurt a lot, right? But am I missing my opportunity to play Wild Boar? It does, or to play my uh, my leader on... Like, I'm not missing an opportunity, right? There's just not going to be anything better than what I'm... In the Crow Mom. Could be like a Lacerate or something crazy. I think I'm actually... Like, there's no, there's no reason to wait, is what I'm saying. Okay, so that didn't hit with a that didn't hit with a dagger or anything on the board, so that's that's fine. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of points we have right here. Wild boar is a lot, but without he brings back great sword. Oh, it's not. Wait, yeah, he brings back great sword and plays wild boar. Tell me, it's, tell me it's not enough. Tell me, is it a thirty point leader? Tell me, it's thirty one point leader. Tell me, it's not enough. Yo, are we gonna have 1.1 Wonder Part 2 here? Calculated. Calculated. It was only a 29 point leader. Oh, okay, good. I shall not repeat Emir's mistakes. What's the go to drink? Oh, this is just coffee right here, but I do have a nice porter that we're drinking today. Cheers, by the way. Sarcasm is just trolling and trolling tr like sarcasm is just trolling and trolls are usually just like people who don't really grasp how comedy works at all. So trolls are the kind of people who are just like, I was just joking. And it's like, that's what a joke is in a world where that's a joke. Ah, uh -huh, I don't want to live in that world. Humorless, humorless people. This'll do, this'll do. Nilfgaard again. We did, we had, okay, very different Nilfgaard. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Ah, the old muzzle. Doing work. I think muzzle might actually be on the, the muzzle might be on the thumbnail for this video. I feel like muzzle hasn't been like critical, but it hasn't not been, right? It hasn't not been. Morky Mork? McBeard, king of the single points. Oh, man. Vanilla Bean Tree, respecting the power of one. Commando! Thanks so much for the cheers. Many cheers, many cheers lately. We would like to play Ermion. We would like to play, uh, maybe, we would like to play Crow Mother. That seems like the play I want to make here. Or Burna. No crow mother makes me sad though, and we already have one of these out, so. Most valuable card? Most valuable crow mother? <laughs> well, I mean, the muzzle got us the double crow mom in that last game, so yeah, right? Plus all those potentially tasteless crow mother jokes. <laughs> Wait, there's nothing in here, right? Yeah, that's one thing, for sure. Non-poison? This doesn't seem like a poison list, no. No Ramon is really good, considering I don't want to get pushed around. I was Spearman. Mashed potatoes with thick gravy. All right, this slows down the damage a little bit, gets us back into it. Um, we could have played this a little bit later, just a little bit later, but we're beyond we're beyond that first sort of threshold of seven cards here. Stratagem played, staying ahead looks good. Oh, yo, how good is Delirium here? How many points? Delirium's gonna get us so many points here, right? Well, it's gonna get us what? Eight points? Maybe it's just eight points that gets us. You used a charge too. My 
My wife just came home from a bike ride. And a long bike ride at that. You went to the water? Where is the challenge? Okay, this keeps us we're, we're we're able to act here. We're able to act here. Gods. Not a moment's pace. Pure soldier deck for real? Well, then we see morale. You can't resist the temptation of morale and his fine shoes. The Romolahams detest intruders. Two leader charges, huh? I mean, the reason why I want to take this so bad is about <laughs> um, is about Fionn later on, because we've already played Gremis now. Muzzle simply for 10 points on this. I just feel like I can be more, it can be more decisive. Work frog from hand really feels like a waste. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass because, I mean, this could be, this, this could be the wrong decision here, but... I think holding on to muzzle here, having the discard tempo for after. We're drawing any good cards, right? There's one, there's two, there's three. I mean, this is gonna be good. There's a lot of armor in his deck. I think I might wanna hold on to this. This could get something into steel range for this, you know? Oh, man. He's playing, okay. Not you again. You stand before the Queen of Skellige. Let's not get in the way of the arms. We can't use Muzzle or anything on, like, Damien, because he has leaders still. Or Skellen. But he's playing Damien, right? Because he played this on the front row. Does he have Letho as well? This Letho damien Skellen combo? I hate it so much. Hard into the paint. Oh, it is ball. Yeah, it's ball, all right. Interesting choice. I guess he is saying Beagles forward. Beagles forward. Could this be a real soldier deck? That team got yeeted. Oh, bye, Gremis. So I just discard whatever I draw, and I just hope I don't draw a totem. Don't you pester me. Perfect. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> it's this. This is what I drew. That there, there are some graphic bugs that are actually like can be. Can be quite annoying if you don't realize what's going on. I shall flog them into submission. Thinking can be hazardous to your health. <laughs> I have to play Getty now. Creature. Muzzle target? Whatever we can get. I didn't think he would push so hard down a leader. Down leader charges like this. Maybe he's just taking this. Maybe he's just taking this. The beast don't show up first, right? Because the druid touches down and then it shows up. Am I wrong? So I tie, I think. Don't I tie with this play? Because there's not a single beast on the board, too. Right? Go to you, now 
Oh wait, I was way off. I was still off. I had two, I, I had one more point. I kind of counted this point. Anyway, the point is, we got out of this round. Math, NA math. Yeah, you're, you're, you're teased to Hermione. Exactly right. I know. Well, unfortunately, we still have to kind of, we have to do this with finesse. Be able to do that. Oh god, this is our hand. We've used everything. I need a bear, right? Don't I need a bear? Okay, I have a bear. So we can play Totem, Bear, Druid, Gigascorp whenever needed, right? Okay, this is. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We have used everything. A fun and refresh later. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Afan's gone. Okay. Yeah. Right, we saw Afan in the other game against Nilfgaard, I guess. Yeah, there's no good targets for poison, right? We were efficient with our points. We didn't miss any points. It's just gonna come down to, did we not? Oh God, the Ramon play. So we know if we lose, right? He, it's a Spearman. We win this game? Yeah, we beat a Spearman. Dudes, dudes. Are we not having a day today? Are we not having a day right now? He goes left. He looks at the basket. <laughs> he puts bread in the basket. <laughs> yeah. Throw up a heat check. <laughs> I feel like I'm using my leader in round two a lot when I pass. When I don't win round one, I use leader round two and I, I have enough. I have enough. We have early bears, which is pretty good. I felt like I really couldn't play that Crow Clan Druid for a long time. It was a little tight. Red coin again. Double ball for sure. Tactical decision. Smash! The best part about stunning blow is the hammer that goes. <laughs> That's the best part. <sighs> He's on fire. And G going hard. So people are saying they've seen a lot of Skellige today. We've seen one. One Skellige. Using with confidence. <laughs> no, I'm excited because I'm winning a lot. I feel like I don't like. I think because I felt like I could have easily have lost a lot of these games when I win them anyway. I'm like, yo, dope. That's my rating. That doesn't go down. You know, it's good. I'm pushing. You know, if I keep win streaking at the top of my, uh, at my what is it called? I, I'm win streaking on peak, so I could get a PB. I could get a PB this season if I keep this up. So yeah, that's pretty exciting, I guess. But I could just play Delirium as well, just to mess with him. He doesn't have anything to poison or do, and I actually could kill the dame. Personal best. Personal best, Sifo Diaz. That's what I meant to say. Personal best. I don't know what my personal best is, but I'm pretty sure if I saw myself in the top 1,000 at the end of the month, I would know that that was it. Peanut butter. It's peanut butter. You want your PB every month, but what you really want is your PB and J. That's your personal best. And a jamboree. <laughs> to celebrate your personal best. Oh, see? This is where I'm like, man, just play everything that isn't a card. But I, alas, I have to play a card. But even Morkvarg from hand, it doesn't even seem that bad. Or even Chromom, really. Chromom seems pretty dope. We play, we play ahead. The sad, the, the King Cobra voice line, the dudes are so sad when there's nothing to poison. But Burn is so so strong here, but I think Crow Mother. With a hand like this, Burn is always good later, too. A beaks like a heads. Jay's the garbage? You just want that PB. Yeah, if you don't overinvest into the jet. Okay. I don't think I have a follow-up joke for this. Oh, 
Oh boy. He wasn't happy about anything there. The totem feels like a nice, uh, like a nice good play here. So I go totem, crow clan druid, scald into Morkvarg for the nine point cycle. <laughs> right, there's just nothing really good. At no point am I giving my opponent something good to hit. Two point poisons. The lock, okay. Let the hum begin. Grimace would be dope, but we don't have Grimace at the moment. We may want that later, though. I mean, I think I just triggered anyway. Oh, I'm so dumb. Not a beast yet. Not a beast yet. Not a beast yet. All right. The thing is, if he plays another card here, I'm passing anyway. Because this hand... I mean, I could play the Scald. I could play the Scald, Morale. It usually is something like this, right? A little bit of a pincer maneuver here. Not a beast yet. Well, it's fine because, I mean, it was going to get poisoned anyway. We can see that now. Still has to, so we stay in with just the bear. So we can just stay in with the bear, but I think that Scald is what we want to do. Hey, listen here. Listen well. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. So it's a little bit harder for us to stay in it here, but we could still take it, right? We still take it. If we play six, they pass, then we play the bear. So that's good, right? So we can, we can just bleed now, right? We have game control. So we can just open up with Gadanith. We don't have uh, Ermion though, which sucks, but. So I think I just open up with Burna. We just open up with Burna. 10 points, solid. Really hard to come back. Like, really hard to just open up with more than that, I think. I don't think Skellige can really, like... I don't think he can do... Wait, we're not against Skellige. Nilfgaard. So Nilfgaard would have to use, like, everything. Now, I actually respect that, unfortunately. But if we assume that it's a little bit slower than it is... Yeah, I think we can just go ahead and... We can also purify with Gremis. Like, we have a lot of power here. God, they really want my... They, I really just want me to have this froth in hand forever and ever. So hostile towards Nilfgaard in chat. And yet when I'm playing... And yet Nilfgaard is like the best... Has the most views. I get the most views for Nilfgaard videos. People love it. Oh, tempting. Tempting. I have so much control, okay? I have so much control. Give her the ban hammer. Mm. I don't really have a. I don't really have a. I have pl like a leader play, and my opponent knows it, right? We saw Morale already, so it's Cup Bear. Two extra points. Yenvo on Vincent, right? That is strong, that is strong. Ah, uh, we might lose this one. This might be a loss. We might have to take the L on this one. I don't know. This one looks like it's gonna be really tough to win.
And then we get a hand like this. And I really wonder if we're going to lose. <clears throat> I wonder if we lose now. Okay. When did I play Delirium in this game? I actually don't even remember. Oh my god, Morkvarg wet dream. Can yet see. I have to play a druid here, right? We have to bring Gremis back out. We can't risk not having this proc, I think, and actually get points. So he could have a hunter for the lock on Gremist and then a poison, but the big, I'm not really sure what he's poisoning that's so big here. That's like such a huge turnaround for me. So we have an interesting situation where if he does play Mata, but he played it already? He played it already. Yeah, we already got already saw it. What's up? Hold my beer for the nine month resub. Monster combo. Thanks so much for the support. Hold my beer. I'm gonna hold my beer right now. I don't think they need to I don't think they need to fix it. I think that this is Nilfgaard's premier control list, and it's fine. Once again, I can destroy the cow. With Mardrum, but I think in this situation, well, no, in this situation, I do want to do that though, don't I? More, more poisons are well, no, because it doesn't, doesn't matter if it hits a. I can help you if you wish. We serve her who is virgin mother and All right, man, and this, uh, this Morkvark is going to do a number on this Magni. It might be enough. Purify Joachim. Oh, yeah, he got Vincent back. Cup Bear is 15 points. He has to play it on front row, though, right? So he doesn't get this. 15, 16 points. Holy shit. This isn't a one-pointer. Tell me it's not a one-pointer again. Oh, it's a one-pointer that we lose. Alright. I see how it is. I see how it is. Did I fuck that up? I mean, I felt like I was gonna lose. Oh, it's Kafu now. Oh, cool. Shoutouts to Kafu now. That was a close one right there. I know Kafu. He's streaming, right? Kafu now streams, I think. I know the name. One pointer. So, okay. Yeah, you know, okay, the reverse one pointer. So if I if I damage the cow, the following things occur. The Dane gets two less points, but whatever I use Mardrum on still gets poisoned and killed. So does it matter? Knowing we were unfavored, we could have gambled away hoping he didn't have Heaver. Heaver? But I, I played it early enough. I didn't think he had Heaver anyway. I gave his poison more value with the Mardrum. Yeah, but then I wouldn't have... Mm, you think I played perfectly? Man of the East? That's a pretty bold statement. Although when it's coming from Twitch chat, I've got, it, for some reason it has more merit. Well, if, if you guys think I played well, I would put that YouTube video up, but the comment section will tell me what I did wrong. So, But I mean, at this point, I don't even know. How, like With this many great highlights, picking a loss is a tough one, right? It's tough to pick a loss when these highlights have been actually amazing wins, mostly. Perfectly, I say. Control the docks, control the city. Okay, so Bomb Heaver matters now, and we have it, sort of. But we really do have it, because we're holding Defender, Crowmother, and Burna, which are probably the most royal decree things that we ever want. This hand's, this hand's really good. Now, uh, this is a hand I can't complain about. 
This is the kind of hand I'm talking about right here. This is a this is almost a perfect hand. Choosing to not play shield here I find kind of interesting, but I guess there's no point because you're playing around Manticore Venom. But I think I don't want this to live. I can help you if you wish. So easy B. Only in pro rank. In pro rank, aren't the names are hidden. So you only noticed it because you might watch my stream a lot, and I'm not always in pro rank. In fact, this month I've only been well, I'll only be in pro rank for a couple of days. <laughs> I guess at this point. But this wise, you know, these have been strange months. They've been strange months. Crow Mother, Burna. Even Bear is like. Could be respectable. Yeah, the reasoning is that you can't get to know a player by their name and know how to play around them. There are two sides of this. That means that anybody... Now, Igni is not as good as it was, right? Igni is not as good as it was. You can still play some really cheesy cards that you, your opponent ne will need to play around, but Igni was one of the cheesiest ones. But they also made it just harder to, like... Just harder to track the info. And they, they seem to do it from a viewpoint of knowing something. And I they know more than I do. They see the datas. How's you doing business with you? Hmm. So fit. There's a muzzle for the Redanian, perhaps. Perhaps. Not get in the way of the ass. I'm gonna take it back, dudes. Ah, the dark <laughs> My opponent's like, what the f <laughs> Who runs that card? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So many muzzle plays with Gremis, so many muzzle plays around Philippa, that's good too. Just shut the card down. Trades kind of evenly, right? Just to get those points back is pretty dope. He's tilted now. Hmm. Or I just bring out Gremis here. I feel, I think I seal the deal with Gremis here. You got a sea beast swimming in those breaches. Speaking of sea beast, those bilge water reveals. Hmm. I don't burn us. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's a tie. It's a tie, isn't it? Isn't it a tie? If he passes, it's a tie. Why do you play Cockstein there? I don't know. And this is also exactly what I need to... No. This time... No? Yeah, this time it's a tie again. I could do this all day. I could do this all day. Let's see if we get a 2 0 hand here, because it's quite possible. We have Ermion in the graveyard, we have Gedaneth in our hand, which is pretty good. Shall we smork the hidden cash? Smork Varg. No, this is bad. I want this in my deck. Oh, God. 
But I think I could still play all that stuff I talked about. So let's say we, we lead off with the get Geteneth package. He needs to play Louisa right away. And then we kill Louisa and he plays Savola and then we pass. So he has to open with Louisa. He has to play Louisa right away, right? I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. We have like a little bit of removal, but two bad cards. Saul. Definitely fine with us. Definitely fine with us. Bincy. Why bother with the door when the window's open? One more card just to cancel out Louisa. This isn't really an engine. He has nothing to... It's actually seven points. No, that's good with this. Yeah, the seven pointer I think is good. Adam Louisa. Good, we pass, right? You can't surprise me, so don't bother trying. Better call Saul. And he had the heaver too. Oh baby, hidden cash, three and oh. Hidden cash, least of my problems. Least of my problems, right? He's so mad. <laughs> Getting the crow mother back and all that shit. That was an amazing game. Yo. I definitely I definitely destroyed hidden cash today. I've just obliterated hidden cash. No one's gonna complain about the high if I'm beating hidden cash, no one complains about the highlights, right?